So I've been asked why I chose Amman to teach abroad and in this video I'm going to share with you what helped me make the decision and move to Amman without ever seeing or visiting the country. Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaha and I like to share videos in English and in Somali um, all about education and parenting and what helps me live an inspired life. So if you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when I do post videos once a week. So I'm an elementary school teacher or primary year school teacher and I've been wanting to teach abroad for a while now. In August last year, I finally made the move with my family to Masqat Oman. And as you can see, I'm definitely not in Oman right now. It's because of the pandemic, our school is implementing a distance learning program. So I decided to come back home uh, to Columbus, Ohio uh, to just teach from here with family. So when I was applying last year to teach abroad, I was primarily looking at the GCC countries, primarily UAE, Qatar, and, um, and Kuwait. Uh, and that's only because those are the countries I've heard the most about. I really wanted to go to an Arabic speaking country because I wanted to learn Arabic. Actually, it's been a goal for my family for a while. And I really wanted my children to be immersed in an Arabic speaking country. So that's why I was looking at only GCC countries. But Amman really was not on my radar because I just didn't know much about it. Another reason why we really wanted to go to uh, one of the GCC countries is that I wanted to immerse my children in the Islamic culture. And by that I mean just like hearing the adhan and seeing women with hijab and be that the cultural norm. Um, so that's what I mean about Islamic lifestyle, just things that they'll see in their day-to-day -day life without me having to teach them that, oh, this is Islam, you're a Muslim, you know? And they can build a positive self-identity as a Muslim. While I was applying, a man was definitely not in my radar until I saw an opportunity at a school in Masqat Amman. This school had the curriculum framework that I really was interested in, which is the International Baccalaureate Program. And professionally speaking, I really wanted to work in an IB school or an IB candidate school. Um, I also wanted my children to learn through the inquiry method. Basically, this is my first reason um, as to why I went to Amman. This school really suited my professional needs and I felt like it would be a good fit for my family. Once I found this opportunity, I delved into researching and learning more about Amman and just seeing if the country as a whole was going to be a good fit for our lifestyle. And in doing so, I found out that expats found the Amanis to be very kind and very welcoming and this is something that was really important to me because my husband would not be staying there with us and i really wanted a culture that was accepting of that and living there i found out that was so true more so than i thought uh, the amenis are just really welcoming and very easygoing people and i felt 100 percent safe driving around and just going about my life with my kids as a woman and I never felt at all um, awkward. Um, actually, Amman is very family oriented and a lot of places you'll see your mom and a dad and their kids um, and you never really feel out of place there as a mother or a single female actually. Well, that was my experience. Again, I do wear hijab here and in Amman. So that did help me kind of fit in. Speaking of safety, another reason why I chose Amman is that Amman is so safe relatively speaking and serious crimes are incredibly rare there coming from a country where school shootings and hate crimes are prevalent this is important also through my research i found out that a lot of travelers were raving about amman as a travel destination um, just because the beauty of amman is completely underrated just from the idyllic beaches to the rugged mountains Driving around in Oman, I felt like was such a treat. And when the sun is setting, it, how it highlights the mountain views, it's, it's completely breathtaking. My daughters and I um, took a road trip to Nizwa and driving there alone was incredible. And this leads me to my other reason. Amman is such a great travel hub. You'll find that tickets from Amman to basically any other country is incredibly cheap. Alhamdulillah, we had the great opportunity to go to Hargeisa, Somalia, or Somaliland. I'm not picking a fight here. And it was such an amazing experience. And the tickets, super cheap. Another reason that I really wanted to go to Amman is that I wanted to learn Arabic. That was one of my goals period to go to any of the GCC countries 
and I found that Omani Arabic is really close to Fusha or the modern standard Arabic. Now I don't want to start a debate here because every Arab country thinks that their dialect is closest to the Fusha and I have no say in this debate whatsoever but as a beginner or an intermediate level I did find it super easy to understand the Omanis and I was about to pick up the dialect myself before coronavirus. That's it for now. It was super hard for me to condense all the reasons and just my thoughts that went into making the move. So if you are currently living there or working there or you previously lived there or worked there before, go ahead and comment down below if there are other things that I missed and what helped you, you know, make that move yourself. If you're watching this video and you've made it this far, first of all, thank you. You might be looking to teach in Amman or maybe work there or just live there um, and you're probably wondering if Amman would be a good fit for you. And to that, honestly, what helped me uh, after you know making all the research, I just made dua and I prayed on it and I left the rest to Allah because you really never know. Even if you visited the country and you don't know how it's like to live there. And no matter how much research you do or what, what positive things people might say online, you don't know how much of that may actually be relevant to you. So go ahead and just pray on it and go for it. I hope that helped explain my thought process into us moving to Oman. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when I do post a new video. In the future, I want to share videos about my general impressions in living in Oman and about my lifestyle there. Thanks for watching.